Okay, uh, 36. 36 is interesting. Uh, you need to know that uh, if the material is magnetic, it will divert the magnetic field line through them. So that's why uh, we call it uh, magnetic field shielding. Okay, so when you have a uh, sheet X, okay, the paper clip is still sticking onto the matchbox because uh, the magnetic field line basically uh, bypass the copper. So that's why the paper clip will still experience the magnetic field. Uh, when you put in shield Y, a uh, sheet Y, uh, the paper clip fall down because uh, below shield, sheet Y there is no magnetic field and the reason is because uh, sheet Y is a magnetic material so the magnetic material will basically uh, divert all the uh, magnetic field through the metal sheet so that's why anything below the metal sheet will not experience a magnetic field so your answer is B. Okay. Question 37. Uh, the diagram for this with all the magnetic field line is actually in your textbook. Uh, two wire will experience a repulsion force. Okay. So if you want to know the details on uh, why they are going to repel each other, uh, refer to your textbook. There is a diagram explaining how the magnetic field of these two wires react with each other. Okay, if you cannot find it, uh, come to me, I'll explain to you. Okay, 38, 38 is interesting. Uh, you are, your target is to get an alternating output. So what happened is that if you look at Y, there's a split ring here. So just think of the function of the split ring. Whenever there's one rotation, uh, this split ring is going to uh, how to say cut off that uh, so uh, how do I explain this okay imagine this side okay I'm, I'm just going to look at focus on one side this side so if you use your right hand rule uh, your north is going uh, going this way and your rotation is going up Okay, your magnetic field is going to the right. The current is going uh, up, right? So your current is here. Okay, going up. So, but it is touching the left side of the split ring. Okay, but when this side reaches to the right, it is only touching the right split ring. So in the end, the polarity will be the switching of polarity will be cancelled by this split ring and therefore in Y you won't get the alternating AC output okay I think X and Z is quite straightforward okay uh, 39 just be careful uh, of this thing here it is 2 millisecond per cm so even though you count here one box two box these two box you have to multiply by 2. So that's why you get uh, B. Okay, your question 40. Uh, this is your original output. So when you uh, when you rotate the coin faster, you will get a larger induced EMF and so the, you expect the amplitude to be increasing. And because you are rotating faster, the frequency at which uh, the induced EMF is going to alternate will of course be faster so you will expect the frequency to increase so if you look at all these four graphs only D is having an increasing amplitude and an increasing frequency it means that the wavelength will be uh, shorter and shorter so that's why D is the answer